Now it's important to learn how to set up a new patient on the ventilator. And that is why we must talk about the initial ventilator settings. Once it has been determined that mechanical ventilation is indicated for a patient who needs help with oxygenation and or ventilation, then you must know how to properly input the initial ventilator settings. Keep in mind that each mechanical ventilator machine is different, so be sure to abide by the guidelines provided by the manufacturer of that machine. However, here are some of the general guidelines that you can use when determining the initial ventilator settings for a new patient. First, you will need to select the mode. And it's important to remember that any operational mode will work when setting up the initial ventilator settings. You should not get too caught up deciding on the right mode. And this is especially true when we're talking about the questions that you will see on the TMC exam. But with that said, just as a reminder, you can select assist control if the patient needs full ventilatory support or SIMV if they only need partial support. The initial tidal volume setting should be 5 to 10 milliliters per kilogram of the patient's ideal body weight. So if a patient weighs 70 kilograms, their initial tidal volume setting should be between 350 to 700 milliliters. Now, I realize that many of you guys were probably taught to use six to eight as the range for the initial tidal volume. Now, yes, that one technically is correct as well, and it's even more precise than the five to 10 range. But through my experience, using five to 10 will still help you come up with the correct answer, and it makes the calculation much easier because you can quickly do it in your head. But like I said, it's up to you. You can use whichever one you feel more comfortable with. So moving right along, the initial frequency setting should be between 10 to 20 breaths per minute. The initial FIL2 setting should be 30 to 60%, unless the patient was previously receiving a higher percentage of oxygen before intubation. So if that's the case, then you would simply use the previous FIL2 that they were already on. But in general, you should strive to provide the lowest concentration of oxygen that's possible to maintain a normal PaO2. An FiO2 up to 100% as an initial setting is appropriate for patients with severe oxygenation issues. Just keep in mind that you'll want to try to titrate and wean them down below 60% as soon as possible. Next is flow rate. The initial flow setting should be between 40 to 60 liters per minute. The initial IE ratio setting should be between 1 to 2 and 1 to 4. The initial sensitivity setting should be between a negative 1 and negative 2 centimeters of water pressure. And last but not least, the initial PEEP setting should be set at 4 to 6 centimeters of water pressure. Again, if you don't mind, please hit that like button to support the channel and help us reach more people. And be sure to subscribe, we have a ton of other helpful videos on our channel that I think you will enjoy. I truly hope that you found this video to be helpful. It can be very challenging to learn and master all the different ventilator settings, but I feel like this video can serve as a solid foundation for you to build upon when it comes to mastering mechanical ventilation. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I wish you all the best and as always, breathe easy my friend.